Predictions are a really, really fun way to add some great interaction with your viewers and allow them to basically bet their channel points on certain outcomes. It can be a lot of fun, especially if you're playing competitive games or you're playing games with your friends. And in my experience, viewers really enjoy doing them. And a lot of the times, if there's not a prediction going on, they will be spamming the chat saying, hey, where's my prediction? I wanna be able to bet some stuff on there. I wanna bet that Dimitri's gonna lose his next game. What's up everybody, Kadic here, and today we're gonna go over how to set up predictions, how to use them in your channel, and the ways that I use them a lot of the times on my own streams. So once you get to your dashboard, just like all the other things I've been showing you lately, go ahead and go to your quick actions, click the plus icon here, and we're gonna go ahead and find the predictions. So we're gonna do start a prediction here. And from here, you can go ahead and you can start a prediction. It'll show you the results from your last one. You can see a full summary so this is the summary from the last prediction that I did. Um, super, you know, laid back, nothing really happening here. And if we go ahead and we want to start a new prediction, go ahead and start new. You can choose a previous prediction if you want to repeat the last one, or you can go ahead and create a new one. So let's say, will this video do well? We'll do yes and no. You can set how long people have to submit the points for their or their bets for their prediction. So if it's going to be a match, I would suggest you do it, you know, five minutes. You don't want the prediction to last as long as the match itself. You want the predictions to close. And then once the match is over, then you can pay out those predictions. So let's say we go ahead and do one for 30 seconds. Start the prediction. This will tell you that it has to happen. You have to choose the outcome within 24 hours and whomever votes will not be able to choose the outcome because that allows you to basically game the system. So not a problem. And just like with the polls, you're gonna see it start at the top here. It's gonna be nice and flashy. Win channel points. If you go ahead and click on that, it'll allow people to vote. Now, because I am the creator of my channel. I don't actually have channel points, so I can't really do a prediction. So a normal person would just click on the predict button here and they would be able to choose yes or no. And then once that's done, you'll get to see the results. When you click choose prediction, you'll see how many people uh, voted, who put the most amount of points in, um, and then it'll show the payout percentage and you'll be able to choose an outcome. So I'm gonna choose yes. Nobody got paid out, but it'll say that there's a payout and all that kind of stuff at the end. So predictions can also get managed directly from your stream manager. So as you can see here, I have the predictions window. If you don't have this, go ahead and go up to your right hand corner, uh, click the little down arrow, click edit. And then the little plus icon here, you'll be able to see any of the panels that you're missing. Um, and the predictions will be here if it's not in your stream manager. Um, so from here, you can see the last results from your previous predictions. You'll be able to see the results from a current prediction. So let's go ahead and start a new one. We'll do the same one that was already existing. Um, you know, same thing as before. And you'll be able to watch as the numbers go up. Um, you know, who's betting points, the ratio, the total voters... And the last one I think is who went and bet the most uh, channel points on whichever prediction, whichever outcome is there. So this is also a really good way and I have this in uh, my OBS as a doc. If you wanna see how to do that, I will include the video up in the right hand corner there. Um, but yeah, this is extremely helpful and I use it basically on a daily basis, um, usually with this exact same question because my buddy Andres and I play a lot of FIFA when we when we stream and um, people like to vote on who's gonna win. So as I mentioned, predictions are a really fun way to create some interactive stuff within your chat. Viewers really do seem to enjoy them. They really like to choose if you're gonna win or lose a game, if you're gonna get a certain number of headshots, if somebody's gonna beat you in something, if something's gonna happen during a stream, there's a whole bunch of things you can create predictions on. It really has no limits. You can really do whatever you want. And they are a lot of fun. And that's it. 
I really hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. I try to answer them all as quickly as possible. All of those things combined really do help with the YouTube algorithm, so thank you. As always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me there as well. It is really nice to see people come over from the YouTube channel and hop into my stream and say hello and just say what video they'd watched. Thanks again for watching the end of the video. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next Friday.